An Italian kid named Echo was next to check in. He stood 5 feet 10 inches and had a defined trim build. Echo had black hair and brown eyes. When Midas asked him how old he was, he said 15. How old are you? Midas froze. This was the first person today to ask him his age. He didn't want to lie and he had to answer, but he did ask him his age. Finally, he smiled and said, I'll be 12 in January. So you're here on an age waiver too? That's great, he said and went to his room. You're only 11? Virtuoso thought to Midas. Stick to the mission. What are his powers? He's good physically and can multiply himself by three every few seconds. He can keep that up until there's thousands. Why didn't you tell me you were 11? Because everyone here has made a big deal out of it. If everyone here thought I was 12... She cut him off. If everyone here thought you were 12, you could go unnoticed. That's what you were thinking. Alphas are not in the business of being unnoticed. Have you seen some of the costumes heroes wear? I'm still trying to get used to the whole hero thing. The costume idea is a little much for me. Are you kidding? The costume is the best part. You get to design your own outfit with no rules. And you get to put gadgets and weapons in it. What other job on this planet lets you do that? A Colombian girl named Morph came in next. She was 5 feet 3 inches and 12 years old. Midas noticed her brown hair and brown eyes looked perfect. Not that she was prettier than the other girls, just extraordinary in how everything looked like it was supposed to. Morph said she was hungry and quickly took her room key to go deposit her luggage. She's a shapeshifter, that's why she looks like that, Virtuoso thought to Midas. Oh, okay, so she made herself without imperfections. Yup, she can look like anyone. She can turn invisible too, I'm guessing stealth. Before they could continue, the next person came in. A little girl from Hong Kong with black hair and brown eyes politely asked to check in. She said her name was Monk, and she was 12 years old. Midas put her at 4 feet 10 inches. That was 2 inches shorter than Midas. As soon as she walked toward the elevator, Midas thought to Virtuoso. I thought you said China didn't send people to Alpha, he thought. She's from Hong Kong, not China. Hong Kong is part of China. I know my geography. Well, it's complicated. Hong Kong used to be part of Great Britain, and it still runs pretty much the same way as far as the HU is concerned. I knew the British part. I didn't know that every rule had exceptions. Yeah, it's tough being you. Monk is a healer with martial arts training. Also, she only weighs 80 pounds. Have you been getting people's weights? No, I just saw how light she was and wanted to know her weight. Hey, that was the last one. Well, come over and let's get something to eat. Might have straightened his workplace and looked around to see if there was something else to do. Convinced he had not forgotten anything, he called to the bot. Bot, please come here. The bot stepped forward. Yes, may I help you? The bot said in return. Everyone who is supposed to check in has. Please take over the front desk. Of course, the bot said. Midas walked over to the dining area and sat down. He looked at his watch with a big expression. 2200? I've been standing there for 14 hours? Being a superhero means laying your life on the line, Virtuoso said with a warm smile on her face. Very funny. Midas stood to take a look at all the children in the dining area. From one side to the other, they had broken into small groups. Three of the Arab kids were together. He didn't see the Israeli or the Libyan. All the big kids that looked really strong were sitting together being loud. The techies all sat together. Games were off already. The rest of the boys were sitting next to the others of similar ethnic background. Did you see how the boys are sitting? Yes. Did you see how the girls are sitting? She asked him back. Midas looked at the girls and tried to see what Virtuoso was talking about. I don't get it. Virtuoso stood up and gave him a disgusted look. Boys really don't get girls, do you? Look at how they divide it into groups. The prettiest, oldest, most fashionable, and most talkative girls are at that table. Call that table one. Over there would be table two, and there would be table three. The outcasts are scattered. Midas looked and it all made sense. His dad was right. Pecking orders are made by how you see yourself. Midas turned his head quickly to Virtuoso. That makes you an outcast. I would take that as an insult if you weren't the friend of the outcast. What are you eating? Their conversation continued as Midas ate and she went over the notes. Then the two of them started eavesdropping on the rest of the crowd. Midas with his hearing and Virtuoso with mind reading. They were just about to start filling in the rest of their sheet when Coach Hansen came into the dining area. Good evening, everyone. It's getting late, and we need everyone who has already been fitted for grays to go to their rooms and get some sleep. Wake up is at 0700, 7 a.m. to some of you. Breakfast is served at 0730, and class begins at 0800. Those of you who have not been fitted for grays or do not know what grays are, follow me, she said in a loud voice. The rest of you, good night. Midas said, 
Well, go get measured, and I'll see you at breakfast. Good night. I'm glad we met, she said.